but he's played so well in the end from 5-3 down and we know he's playing you, well in general winning First the frame. Northern Ireland Open of course a couple of months back <laughs> Mark Williams to break so another packed house here at Alexander Palace looking forward to another very exciting quarter final Mark Williams to get us underway he's so laid back he turned up I was in the press room he's walked in he's got traditional tie on that they were wearing in the afternoon sessions but in the evening they wear bow ties and it seemed no one had told him he didn't have one on him but uh, Martin Clark the tournament director found one helped him uh, dress himself and here he is ready to go yes the most laid-back player ever and I think he's got the right attitude as well he's not too bothered if he wins not too bothered if he loses he's enjoying his game again and I think that's the secret to this game is to enjoy it. Enjoy the good and the bad. And no doubt about it, he's playing back at his best again, Mark Williams. But Karen Wilson is also playing well. Well, Mark Williams is appearing in the Masters quarterfinal for the first time in five years, and he's looking to get to the semi finals of this tournament for the first time in eight years. Well, this looks a little short. Oh, so short, yes. he's left a red on. Karen Wilson for. chance to set the tone of this match by punishing Mark Williams mistake and if century breaks are anything to go by this year Karen Wilson had nearly double what he had last year already and that's normally a good point Eight. to look at players form well the centuries in general Joe in this tournament been flying him. We've had 21. We've had at least one in every match played so far. The record is 31 for the tournament, so that's certainly under threat. Nine. Yes, yeah, the standard of play has been absolutely brilliant. Some great matches already. I've no doubt this is going to be another one. Well, his two wins over Williams, both in quarterfinals. One in Belfast last season and the one in China where 16. Mark Williams did not pot a ball after winning the first frame of the century. He didn't pot another ball in the match after that. It's quite incredible, that, isn't it? Start with a 70. big century break. How did you play, Mark? Well, I didn't miss. Just didn't get a chance because this man, 22. he played out of his skin. And he likes the big stage, Kyra Wilson. Twenty-three. He's left it short. Wanted to be top side of the blue, so it could have gone into the reds. <clears throat> there is a red that will go to the left corner, but he's got to be very accurate with his position. Make sure your flashlights are switched off, please. Just got a little bit too much done into the cue ball. 28. It's planned to come the other side of the brown. Maybe go into the pack of reds. Can't 
Tyrone Wilson, 28. Well, he would have been expecting to get more because he had a chance to get the right side of the blue. This is a good effort to get him behind the green. And look at this, for the pace on the cue ball. Tremendous shot. Okay, Wilson gave the safety advantage away by playing off the pack of reds as he did. Now he's in trouble. Can't just land up into the side of the reds because there's reds either side of the pack. So maybe try and come in the back of the reds. Of three cushions. He's misjudged it. Foul. Then a miss. Mark Williams four. So Mark Williams with a half chance. That's what it, he was attempting. One. Nicely done. That wasn't easy. But he knew he wasn't leaving anything that the ready was playing on. So he wasn't punished for that shot he played, trying to roll the slow roll to the pack, but got nowhere near, left a red on. Wilson only scored 28. And Mark Williams is now in. Mark Williams, who has won the Masters twice. Seven. The first victory was 20 years ago on the respot on the decider against Stephen Hendry. He said it's the only time he's ever played snooker and his legs have literally been shaking. He won 10-9 and then five years later, 2003, beat Hendry again, 10-4. Eight. In between that, he lost the 2002 final to Paul Hunter, who made one of his great comebacks. It's been a few years he's missed out because he's not been in the top 16. Fifteen. Well, didn't really get into the reds with much power there. He could have played up for the blue last time round and gone into the reds from the blue. A chance to go into them from the black. Mark Williams, fifteen. Remember, it's only Wilson's the second time at the Masters, made his debut last year, lost the first round, so his victory over Barry Hawkins the other night was his first win in this tournament. Just looking at those two reds to see if they're a plant to that right corner pocket. And he checked it before he played it. Now, what kind of an angle does he have on the green? He looks fairly straight from here. It's going for everything at the moment. Now that's another good recovery shot. 
Needs to slow down, though. It needs to slow down. Just run that extra inch too far. The ground is potable, but very risky to play it. He's looking at it, though. He knows that there's nothing much for the snooker. Looking at the potting angle, he's going for it. What a shot. Oh, I thought it was in. Wow. Well, five. Well, what a brave shot to go for. But it could be costly. It looked in all the way and just stayed on the lip. So a great chance now for Kyron Wilson. It's funny because we've seen some balls drop. Yeah. Hit in the jaw. Not necessarily that pocket, but they're all supposed to be the same. But that one didn't. One. I think, though, it's... Regardless, you may lose the frame from it, but it's illustrated what sort of match this is going to be. They're not going to be turning much down. Yeah, it was a brave shot to take on from Mark Williams, but that's a sign of his confidence winning that tournament. It's done him the world of good. Well, he could have got closer to the reds there. He's left himself with a tough red here. <coughs> well, he's looking at the plant. Oh, and it just dropped in. Six. But that's all it needed to do. See, the brown, for me, was closer than that red. Oh, nothing safe now. So it's down to Kyron Wilson, this frame. 18 points the lead. 10. I guess from Mark Williams's point of view when he was over that brown if the reds had been spread he may have laid the snooker because there'd be more chance in of leaving a pot on but as you say wasn't much chance of that happening so he went he pushed the boat out absolutely right Had the reds been open the snooker would have been well and truly the shot well it looks costly it's been an interesting Eight. start, because Wilson was in earlier, but uh, lost position. Thank you. Wrong side of the blue, but shouldn't pose too much of a problem. He's got the angle to come in and out of Bork. Should be able to miss the Bork colours. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. So this black and another ready needs. Well, he wanted to miss the red. Would have been left with choice of two 32. reds then. 
still on the shred to the middle. Doesn't have to worry about position. Just make sure of the red. And it's there. 33. And now made a touch of colour safe. And play the snooker. Ramble. Two snookers required. Karen Wilson, 33. So that uh, should secure Corin Wilson this opening frame. One. <laughs> he is a very confident character, as he has every right to be, but uh, mm -hmm. he keeps his head down, he works hard, he's not one to sort of run his mouth off or anything, keeps out the way, Four. just focuses on the match, on the actual... 12 by 6. 6. Still got a chance this green. Yeah, everybody thought he'd gone for it in the green pocket. He filled them. But just showing us his cue power there. <laughs> Nine and the misses first round. Well, they've had their chances, but it was that brown in the end that Williams went for and missed, splitting the reds that did cost him. Andy Curran Wilson in only his second appearance at the Masters, leading 1 0 here against Mark Williams. Oh, what a beautiful trophy it is. I think. Joe, if I'm right, you, you presented it to Paul after one of his wins. I did, yes. Um, and Paul Hunter won this tournament three times. I'm not sure if he, every one of them was deciders, but I think at least two of them was. Yeah, they all were, all 10-9. He's behind in all of them. <laughs> Gets Mark Williams here, who's 5-0 down. Incredible. He's 7-3 uh, down to Fergal O'Brien. He's 7-2 down to Ronnie O'Sullivan. What a player he was. Sadly missed. And a great human being, I can tell you. He had a lot of side on the cue ball there to avoid the reds. Lots of right-hand side on the cue ball. It swerved round the blue. Very difficult to judge those type of shots, but had safety in mind. Well, it's the closest. There's a certain frizz on in the air, I think, since Ronnie O'Sullivan lost, because the way he played against Fu and the way he's been playing in general this season and his record in this tournament, seven wins, a lot of people were sort of giving him the trophy already, but, of course, sport doesn't work like that. But it's interesting, you know, the last six Triple Crown events, so we're going back over two years, they've all been won by either O'Sullivan or Mark Selby. So, obviously, that pattern is now broken. There's a big chance for someone here at the weekend Big prize in that two hundred thousand pounds. And a lot of players playing well. You couldn't pick who's gonna win it. I know everybody's got their own favourites. But any one of the last eight could win.
normally very good at landing up into the reds, but that's the second time he's left oh, it short. Miss Karen Wilson foot. Just misjudging the speed of the table. Looking at the possibility of a double. Also got the easy safety shot. He knows if he has a white ball replaced, he should be able to drop onto the reds second time round. But I suppose if he doesn't, then he would be one then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is uh, the man Thank you. in charge of putting it back. Now, as they pushed a red on, that was OK. Well, Mark could be tempted by this red to the left corner. Standing across the table for the black. He'd only leave the red he was playing on. Normally likes those type of odds. Lovely shot. Just didn't hold the cue ball well enough. One just didn't get into the white ball. What a great pot. Missed the ball. Doesn't want it to go yes. in. Mark Williams one, Kyron Wilson seven. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he's obviously not going to have it put back. That's the first thing we could say. Here's the replay. Just didn't didn't hit it. Yes, I was about to say that he doesn't want to put him back in again either because he'd have a go at this red. Yeah, that full ball kiss on the yellow has left a little tempter for Kyron. <coughs> oh, yes, great shot. And look where the cue ball's finished. That's exactly where he played it. Hadn't left anything on if he missed it. On the black if he got it. Well, we've seen two great long pots in this frame from these two. It's not that surprising because for the tournament, long potting, Williams is 93% and Wilson is 92 That's for the tournament. That's Sam going, isn't it? And what an aggressive shot that was. Trying to go into the reds with the insurance of this red to the right corner. Eight. 
and he's a little unfortunate. He's only developed another couple. But he's still on the red. could have held it better than that it's just a, a little further away from the black than he wanted it makes this black missable and he's got to play it with some kind of power to be able to get to the next red difficult top spin Struck it well. Oh, how's your luck? He's on one to the right corner and he's developed more reds. 16. Now if he can get the right side of the blue here. Unless he can get to the black from the red to the middle. This is a frame winning chance. Seventeen. go but he's left himself short enough on the blue to be able to co come in and out of balk easily oh, I don't think he's hard enough needs to run on a bit 22 Didn't want to miss the black. 23. Wanted to come round the back. Poor positional shot from blue to red. Looks like it's cost him. But a big target to try and get the cue ball Green in ball. behind the brown and yellow. Kyron Wilson, 23. Not quite hard enough. I was going to say it was a good bump, but I don't think it, I didn't think it is because this red will go to the right corner. Chance to get him behind the brown and yellow if he misses.
This is a good attempt. Resting nicely on the blue. Well, difficult to see how close that, that cue ball is to the blue. But if it's nearly touching, it may have to come off the angle. coming around the three cushions trying to land up to the reds just below the pink but there's danger with that shot he could push a red on yeah normal one so attempting to play the red by the green i think Like you fouled that. Foul. And a miss. Mark Williams four. Well, it's, it's surely is it the blue there? Yeah, we saw yeah. it. But I don't think the referee did. He's called a four. It should be five. I haven't seen a replay of that. I mean, obviously, Jan and, and indeed Corrin are right down there. So, and, you know, sometimes on TV it can be slightly yeah, misleading, but it just seemed that he hit the blue. He fouled anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh. miss and free ball. Well, it's the full set there, Mark free ball four. as well. Can't roll up to the free ball, of course. But he can take it on. Kind of an extra red. Yeah, managed to get the right side of the blue as well. It's a couple of reds just below the pink. We'll go to the right corner. May be able to screw off the reds this time round for the blue. Or oh, just a little nudge for the pink to the middle. Seven. Trying to hold the pink spot. Which would leave him on this red to the left corner. 13. Fourteen. Leaving the free ball then. Could be very costly here. Visions of Wilson giving away, you know, 16, 20 points trying to escape, but leaving in the end a pot on, even worse.
20. Twenty-one. Well, he's just come a little too far on the pink there, so I may have to take the black. There is a red that will go to the right corner. That's the angle. And I played for the red on the cushion, and this is missable. Twenty-eight. And black takes him into the lead. Yeah, Thank nicely you know. played. Thirty-six. So difficult, those middle pockets. I've got to be right in. But hasn't left anything easy for Kyra Wilson. But he'll be disappointed with that. It's a good chance to win, and he had the angle on the pink to disturb the reds. That's a good pot, but where's that cue ball? One. <coughs> so a little straight on the blue. So look at this good red again. So maybe just screw the cue ball back a couple of inches. You'd have the red to the left corner. Good. Six. Been a bit of an edgy start. Highest break in the match so far, 36. I'm sure that will improve. Seven. I think it's the wrong side of the pink. Yep, it's the wrong side of it, so not straightforward to get to that red that will go in the same pocket. It's of side on the cue ball, and he's played this well. Got some right-hand side on the cue ball to create the angle, and he might just be able to give the other reds a nudge. They need some attention. Those three reds. Just a touch. <coughs> and he's developed them. And now this has turned into a good chance. Three points the lead. So these three reds with big colours. Should be enough. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-nine. Thirty. 
had a chance, missed that red to the middle. Yes, Mark Williams started like an express train against Mark Selby. He had a 1-3-5 in the first frame and uh, was motoring 2-0, but it's the other way around tonight. He's about to go 2-0 down. Thirty-seven. Well, this was the shot for me. Lots of right-hand side on the cue ball, coming around for this red, and then splitting the reds. Next shot, it couldn't have landed any better. And that was frame ball. Forty-two. So Wilson happy to get that chance. Williams uh, was looking good at one stage to level this match, but missing that red let Wilson back in. He's going to play on because it's, uh, well, it's two snookers to tie. Yeah, it's good to see Mark Williams playing on. Many times players give in, needing two snookers, but it can happen. We've seen it many times. Not an easy table for snookers, you've got to say. It was in this tournament where Mike Allott, uh, in the semis against John Parrott, I think he needed five snookers and got them to win their decider. So, you know, it can happen if you stick at it. And funnily enough, it was on the green. <laughs> Three. Mark Williams, three. Caught it just a little bit too thin. Now, this will be interesting. Does he just drop the brown in? Because if Williams pots the brown, he needs two snookers to win. Yeah, great shot. Didn't push it over the pocket. Four. And that seals his second frame. Yeah, it's not been electrifying snooker, but it's been interesting. There's been some good potting. Ice break still only 44, but bottom line is Karen Wilson has won the first two frames. <laughs> Williams Four in the frame. winning the pink, and it's not going to happen. So, yeah, Williams yet to, so far, reproduce the form that saw him knock out Mark Selby. A long way to go, though. Remember, it's first to six that reaches the semi-finals, and it's Karen Wilson leading Mark Williams 2-0. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Take your seats, please. The third frame. Mark Williams to break. So Mark Williams looking to get involved in this match. He's trading 2-0. He's had chances in each of the opening frames. Yes, and it was a good chance in the last frame for Mark Williams. Missing the red to the centre. Done the hard work.
One. Two for shot. Now, does he take the blue on, try and disturb the reds? The green is possible, but he'd have to play it at such a pace. So it's the blue, and this is difficult. Well, didn't really go into them with a lot of power. Had to put Six. everything into the pot. It's still unfortunate not to be on anything. And this might be a re-rack. Mark Williams, six. Neither player can play up the table. Two reds over both corners. Re-rack? Mark? Well, it looks like they've... Do you want re-rack? Yeah. ...come to that decision in double quick time. They all, all three of them, Jan Bass included, could see that was going nowhere. So strike it from the record. It was a few minutes. There was a time where that would have gone on a bit, but I think these days people just want to get on with the snooker. Not a question of who blinks first, they both uh, blink at the same time. First frame of the tournament, actually, Williams played Selby. It was a rewrap. <laughs> he asked for the cue ball, Jan sent the pink down. Thank you. Third frame, Mark Williams to break. So, frame three of this match has been re-racked. Mark Williams for the second time breaking off. Trailing 2-0. That re-rack came about. So, we'll, I'll get on to that in a moment. We're there. He's a big snooker fan, Nico McBrain. That's the guy giving the thumbs up. He's the drummer from Iron Maiden. Alongside his wife, Rebecca, regular at the Crucible. I wonder how he copes with the choir, because that's the exact opposite to what he's used to, playing for Iron Maiden. Yeah, give us a drum roll. Yeah, that's the guy with the long hair, not the, the man in front of him in the suit. And there's an Iron Maiden fan, so double joy for him tonight, snooker fan, and the drummer of presumably his favourite band is uh, in the room. Yeah, that was a good shot. Played it with a lot of right-hand side on the cue ball to check it back down the table. Last couple of years after the world final at the reception, Nico has come along and uh, he's played drums. Mark Selby has sung with a, with a live band. It's kind of almost become a t tradition. to stop Joe Johnson getting up on the stage himself because you like a song Joe <laughs> yeah it was George Formby when I won the championship This looks good. The right side of the table to put Wilson in trouble. <coughs> Could come off that right side cushion, land up into the reds. But not easy, the path back to Bork this time round.
Well, the way he's played that, he's allowed a safety shot. He could have got the long stuff out. Played over the left side of the table again there. And this could be handy. A little fortunate to have got in behind the yellow. It was Williams who allowed that safety shot. Two nil down and in trouble. Looking at landing up to the red on the cushion, but there's plenty of reds to avoid here. Doesn't want to hit one of the reds. But that one will do nicely. Plane was a good red to leave as it stopped the safety shot but he's got a good yellow if that red had been on the left side cushion Mark Williams couldn't have attempted that shot so Gonna miss Kyron Wilson for. There is a red on, but too dangerous to take on, you would think. Yeah. So back it goes. So look at that mark, please. Karen, thank you. <laughs> Some good safety being played in this match, not a ball potted yet in this frame after six and a half minutes of course there was in the when it originally started but it's been re-racked since Did well to miss the red nearest that right side cushion. Good figures on the safety stakes. And they're both 80% or above for the tournament as well. Now, was that a good kiss? 
Hard to tell from here, but at a guess, I'd say he can't pot it. Attempting to use the yellow and brown to hide that red. Caught it just a little bit too thick. And he's left a chance for Kyron Wilson. Although getting to a colour, it's not easy. <coughs> he may be able to play off the red next to the red that he's attempting. Could either screw off it or play it with topspin. Led to screw off it, and he was on the pink for a moment. One. And that was a very, very good power shot. He's played there, Wilson. Look at the power in this, screwing off the other red. It was nicely on the pink, and then all of a sudden that red came in front of the cue ball. Green ball. So no attempt at the blue. Keeping the pressure on Mark Williams. Karen Wilson won. He's taking this red on to the right corner. And he's got it. What a great shot. He's not going to be on a colour. But he can lay a good snooker in behind the brown. Great shot, that. Yes, he's Mark often Williams been called won. the best single ball potter in the game. And when people say, well, what do you mean? Well, that's the advantage you gain. All right, he's only scored one point, but he's got him snookered. And uh, look at all the reds. He's got to get this safe. So he's taking control of the table with that one good pot. Yeah, and don't forget, he was in trouble. Wilson had played a very good safety. Well, there's danger here taking this red on because there are reds that will go to the left corner. Trying to escape it in this red. Well, he's played the pot, and that was dangerous. So a chance here for Mark Williams. Could have come off the left side cushion, landed up to those three reds. One. So this is a good chance. Black's not on its spot, but pink and blue available. Well, he could take that red away from the pink spot, which would Six. make things easier. Or he could leave the red there. Pink goes on the black spot, but it's not available in either pocket. So it doesn't really want to play for the pink this time round. Seven. Yeah, don't 
don't think that spots. And he's finished straight on the blue. Thirteen. And again, the wrong side of the blue. He might take the pink here and give the red a nudge. Well, what a mess that was. Mark Williams. Thirteen. Thinking about position more than the pot. Thought he was going to nudge that red out of the way of the pink spot. Well, I think we've seen already, haven't we, today with Ronnie O'Sullivan? You know, no two matches are the same, and nothing's guaranteed. Williams played terrifically well against Selby, as O'Sullivan did against Fu, but it's another match now, another opponent. And the game doesn't get any easier either. One. In the few days he's had since he last played. Well, that ties Please. the black and the pink up. <coughs> he played for the black last time round. Could have played for the blue, come down for the red next to the pink, and cleared the way up a little bit. Chance to get the black back on its spot. And just got the right side of the blue. Difficult table, this. Pink and black tied up. He's got a little bit too much side on the cue ball. He's left himself 14. Very awkward. Yeah. This is an easy shot. He's going to take on. Fifteen. Yeah, didn't want the cannon to the reds. And now it's a difficult blue if he decides to take it on. No guarantee of being on a red either if he plots it. <coughs> Karen Wilson, well, 15. That could be a disaster. He's freed the pink. Six. Seven. I oh, made sure he was right side of the blue, but way past it. 
gonna have to take it. Well, that was a long way away for Mark Williams. I'm not sure what he played for. So just one point in this third frame, 19 minutes they've been going, still five reds on. But a big frame for Williams, he's 2-0 down remember, Wilson hasn't played his best stuff yet but he's still in front. Close, and we've seen a couple of those this week, played the safety, but also knew that the red was going close to that corner. As they take the brown on, try and play for these two loose reds. Yeah, good shot. Very confident shot. Well, he's sensing his chance because Williams, Five. despite having been in a couple of times, not quite right yet this evening. The pink would be a good ball to play for here. He's got an easy blue he could play for. But if he plays for the pink, Six. he might be able to play the cannon to the red and black. <coughs> Preferably the black. And that would give him a frame winning chance. Doesn't want to be too hard. Perfectly played. And a great chance now to take this third frame. 12. 13. Nice angle on the pink or blue to play for either red. Well, could have done with leaving the blue there when I mean, he potted that red along the cushion. Eighteen. Yeah, it'd be good to get the black back on its spot. Makes that red <coughs> behind the black spot a lot easier. Nineteen. And that's just about right. to Cannon the red and it's turned out okay it's not a gimme and I thought it would have just dropped in behind the red 26 it's just how you see the shot down there he saw the cannon yeah good shot and he's got to be on a color and he only needs a color Made absolutely sure of the brown. Just one snooker needed, though. So 31. this man uh, may yet get a chance, but uh, in general, he won't be happy with the start. Not just the scoreline, but also 
the sort of in and out nature of the way he's played. Karen Wilson, 31. Well, I think Williams has already conceded, conceded so Very not the Wilson. start the Welshman was hoping for. It's been a little bit uh, scrappy, disjointed, bitty. Karen Wilson, though, doesn't really care about that because he is already halfway towards a place in the interval. Big frame in this match, Karen Wilson 3-0 up. Looking to take a further grip on this contest. Mark Williams, twice Masters champion, looking to find a way into the matches. Had chances in all three frames, but yet to win one. Yeah, that's a key point, isn't it? He's had chances. Well, it's getting hot in there, clearly. <laughs> well, sometimes when you take those on, you can leave them. is not far away. And he's got to stay focused. Williams has got to stay attacking. And Wilson will be making sure that he earns his chance. <coughs> Easy safety shot for Mark Williams. No need for a re rack this time round. Possibility of a three ball plant. And also looking at the possibility of a good safety. Miss that red in the left corner. Now, yeah, can Wilson be tempted by this thin red to the left corner? Doesn't want to catch it too thick. Cue ball could go into the reds. Good pot. But the cue ball's close. Didn't deserve that. One. But not on a colour. Green ball. Uh, I don't think he's got the snooker. And he's left this little tempter to the right corner. Mark Williams disappointed with himself there. Well, he's not tempted. Cue ball was going into the reds. So played a good safety. Well, to me, that always looked like the double kiss was on. Oh, what 
what's the damage? Oh, can't see enough of that. I don't think you can see enough of that one either. It's got to be very tight, this. Well, from there, it looks as though I may be able to pot it. Yeah, good shot. One didn't commit to playing for a colour. But he's got control of the table. Oh, couldn't have got any closer Mark Williams won. without dropping. That's the thing. In this match, he's got in so many times with a good part and then just hasn't been able to, to keep going. And another what? opportunity now for Kyron Wilson. He's just got to sit there and wait and hope. Prepare himself in case he gets a chance. Eight. Nine. Yes, mental focus so important. Sat in that chair, not just at the table, but actually when you sat there, because you don't know how long your opponent's going to be at the table. You've got to be ready mentally to come back. Well, sometimes seeing the multi-table matches 16. tournaments mark williams will just be sort of looking over at another table just keeping himself relaxed but of course there's only one table here 17. well that is not a good shot from karen wilson that looks end a break What a good chance he's let go there. Darren Wilson, 17. to be touching. Touching ball. Doesn't want to come off the reds and open the reds up. So just rolling into them.
That would be a good spot, but he's not playing there. Uh, he's pushed a red towards that left corner. And now another chance for Wilson. Well, Mark Williams said in that interview I did with him before the match, he's looking to enjoy it. Well, he won't be enjoying this. Not just the scoreline, which is bad enough, but his game at the moment not quite there. And Wilson looking again to take advantage. Yeah, played it with right-hand side on the cue ball to check it away from the reds. <coughs> Knowing he had the yellow over the middle, but he wanted to be easier on the yellow than this. So difficult. He's playing the snooker. And I don't Aaron think Wilson. he's got it. It's been that sort of match, hasn't it? You know, it's a good chance that, but it just didn't quite work out. And even, as you say, he hasn't even got the snooker. I did think the yellow was possible. Slightly above the middle pocket. But trying to keep control of this game. Doesn't want to leave Williams with an easy chance. As you said, David, earlier, this is a massive frame. I know they all are, but 4-0 is a big, big lead. Well, that's more like it. Good safety this time from Williams. Just checking to see if he's going to push a red over that right corner pocket in playing this safety shot. Now he may be able to take a red on here. No. Cue ball must be going into the red near the cushion. Well, a similar type of shot, this time to the right corner. Red just to the left of the pink. May be able to go for that one and miss the red on the cushion. Well, missed it by a long way, and he's left a chance. And if it goes in, it's a good chance. The reds are nicely spread. Desperately needs this frame. Well, long potting has been the one area where Williams has not struggled tonight, but he's got to now try and stay and put something together. Yeah, the yellow is easy enough. Get into the next red, though. Not quite straightforward. Watch the red on the cushion with his waistcoat. Yeah, 20 years ago, that might not have been a problem when he was a, a skinny young lad. He won this for the first time. What are you trying to say? <laughs> He'd say far worse, believe me. <laughs> well, all the right-hand side on the cue ball to bring the cue... 
that cue ball back down the table. And that's OK for a right-handed player, but a left-handed player, it's tough. Not sure if you can see that one. There's plenty of pressure on this shot. This isn't easy at all. Yeah, well played. That was tough because he was leaving reds on. Had he missed it? Yes, and if you can beat Stephen Hendry on a respot to win this tournament in front of 3,000 people at the conference centre, one thing you've got is bottle, and he still has it. Well, he didn't want that kiss like that. He's left this left. red to the left corner, awkward. Little cut back. Again, these are missable. Probably play up for the yellow or blue. Twelve. Just too hard. So. End of break, can't see him taking the yellow on with the rest. It's a little touch Beautiful. behind the blue. Mark Williams, 12. Could be playing the two cushion escape. Foul and a miss. Mark Williams four. Didn't have the angle to land up to the red on the cushion. So just testing the water there. I'm sure it'll be closer this time round. Thank you. And a miss. Mark Williams, four. Yes, Mark having it replaced again, hoping that he catches it just a little thick and leaves him in with a chance. Yeah, Mark. So another slight adjustment. He's playing to hit the red by the pink. And he's got it. And hit it well. He really did, didn't he? <coughs> two points in it then. <clears throat> uh, good speed on the cue ball. But this red is on to the left corner. Very, very tough shot. And if he catches it a little thick, he could go into that red by the pink. Great shot. Oh, very close, but one will settle for that if the pink passes the blue, and I think it does. Another great long pot, this. <laughs> Followed by another. And this is a good chance. Nothing really safe. Seven. I think Karen Wilson would accept he hasn't played his best snooker tonight. So if he's fallen up at the interval, what a result for him. Four. 
Eight. Good pink. But that wasn't a good red he's just played. That was a poor positional shot. Leaving himself with this tough blue. <coughs> played for the pink, I'm sure. Yeah, good positional shot on the red as well. That was a real pressure shot. And Mark Williams is fearing the worst now. Back in prime position. 13. Yeah, good recovery, because as you say, the previous shot, he put pressure on himself. Didn't want to hit the black. 14. That was a misjudgment. Because they played it so hard, the cue ball went into the black. Now has to drop this in dead weight. So, a chance now. Mark Williams and the crowd egging him on. If he should lose this frame, Wilson, he'll be in the interval, he'll be thinking to himself, miss that black. It's a rather nervy <laughs> red, though, from Williams. There's pressure on these, the brown as well at the moment. Nailed to that bolt cushion. Eight. Yes, the green not easy either. Not ideal on this red. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, left himself a more difficult black than it could have been if he'd have punched it in. And he just caught that near angle. Mark Williams, seventeen. I was surprised he didn't punch the red in and... Get a nice angle on the black. I know he should have still potted that black, but at the moment, he's struggling. He wants to try and make it as easy as he can for himself. So that brown may come to save Mark Williams. Two. Well, doesn't have to play him behind the brown. You can try and move it, because you wouldn't fancy him to get the brown and blue. Well, that's as good as he could get on the brown, but still, this is a tough shot. It'll be on the blue if it goes in. Don't really want to be taking these type of shots on. Great shot. What a great shot. It's going to be 4 0. Or is it? It's the wrong side of the blue. It's been that sort of frame, hasn't it? Just keeping position has been an ordeal. Needs blue and pink. But look 14. where the black is. So if he doesn't pop this pink and leaves it on, 
going to be surely 3-1. Big shot this in this match. It's to lead 4-0. Karen Wilson well and truly on top Mark Williams who knocked out the world number one on Sunday Mark Selby has really struggled there hasn't been a 50 break in the match but Karen Wilson Mark Williams to break Mark Williams hoping the second half of this match heralds better things for him couldn't be much worse could it 4-0 down highest break 36 he's potted some great long balls he's been getting in but not staying in not keeping position missing the odd one as well and Wilson has taken what's there to lead 4-0. Just two more frames. He's in the semi-finals. And not the best break-off. We've seen these go in. And the frame one. But that was a long way off. That will give Williams a little bit of hope. He's left the red on to the middle. And the crowd getting behind Williams. They want to see a closer match than this. Needs to slow down. Otherwise, he's the wrong side of the blue. And it's little shots like that that can make all the difference. He had a lot to play with there. Now he's left with this medium to long red. Six. Good pot. Well, he Seven. played the cannon, but a little, full, a little fuller. This is potable, but so difficult. And more difficult to hold the cue ball for the next red. Yeah, good shot. Excellent shot there from Mark Williams. And did 14. so well to hold that cue ball. Fifteen. He could decide to go into them here, and now he can play for the loose red. But a chance to start the ball rolling. And it could have been easier, this red. It's a real thin snick, this, to the corner. It's going to be over the pocket if he misses it. Twenty-three. Well, good part. Deserve better position. Williams. It wasn't easy, to be fair, but you expect Mark Williams to pot those. Yeah, I think, though, that's the point at the moment. He needs it to be easy, just to get himself settled in. I think what must be frustrating for Williams, 4-0 down, but not being outplayed, necessarily. Wilson hasn't played his best either, but he's made fewer mistakes. <laughs> well, that's, that's uh, pretty ruthless from the referee. Not messing around, Jan, is he? He doesn't mess around, does he? <laughs> no, beautiful shot. 
one. Or oh, has it come far enough for the green? Good play for the red just behind the black spot. Or oh, drop it in for this red next to the pink, but if it plays for the one by the black spot, leads to the black. Well, he's in no man's land there, really. <clears throat> Can he drop this in dead weight? Finish on the black. It's there. And the kiss could have been kinder. It's just not happening for Mark Williams at the moment. This is another tough black. So tough. Wouldn't be surprised if he didn't take it on. And he isn't. Mark Williams, five. Good cue ball. Tight under the cushion. Another very good safety from Mark Williams. Snookered on all reds. Thank you. an excellent attempt Foul. trying to catch the red yes. thin yeah mark williams four <laughs> he wasn't very far away there but doesn't want to catch them too thick yeah mark Oh. Gonna miss uh, Mark Williams. Couldn't five. see one full, so I need your help, all of you. It's not going to be uh, a warning. But if you're playing it again, could you just move your camera away? Thank you. Yeah, Jan needs to see the screen here just to check it's all uh, where it should be. Olivia Martil, the marker, is helping him. Sort of snooker's version of the Chuckle Brothers, this, to me, to you. Away from me. That's the before and after. <coughs> Just have a look at that, Karen. There's Olivier. Yeah, Mark? 
Thank you, Olivia. <coughs> Doesn't want to get too much swerve on this. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Another good safety from Williams. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Just trying to land up to that red. But he's too hard. He's left a red on, I think, to the right corner. It's all about speed there. Now, can he see enough to get to that red? Hard to tell from there. Tried to force that cue One. ball through to the black, but he got the cannon and he snookered. Green ball. Miss Mark Williams one, Karen Wilson four. That's fine, I can... Yeah. Karen? Green ball. <laughs> oh, big target. Brown and blue. Yeah, and I'd say that Mark Williams is playing the better safety, especially in this frame. Well, he's just in front on the safety stats, 80% against Wilson, 77. But on the pot success, Wilson, 6% up, 91%. Williams down at 85 
What about this? What about that? Where did he find that one from? From dead under the cushion. Look at that for a shot. Could be a really important shot, couldn't it? Because he's in here. This is potentially a chance for 5 0. And I can't see any way back from there. If Williams could keep Wilson on four and try and apply pressure, that's one thing. Five. But 5 0, well, that's asking a lot. Well, it's a great chance, this, to get right back into the game. The yellow is in a safe-ish position. But it favours the right-handed player. Six. We're saying, Joe, where uh, Wilson's lost a match from 4-0 up, a best of 11 this season, a memorable one against Martin Gould at the International Championship. He went to 5-4 down. Having led 4-0, he went 5-4 down. Then he made a maximum to level up and Gould won the decider. I suspect he hasn't forgotten that match in a hurry. What an incredible match, eh? Made a maximum to Twelve. level things up. So, a chance to play for the black this time round. 13. Left a nice angle on the black. Just to play a slow stun for the red into the same pocket. But this isn't a gimme. Going to put all his concentration into the pot here. And never looked like missing that one. Crowd appreciated 20. it. Twenty-one. Just under hit that one slightly. <laughs> Didn't want to be playing cannons, but I think he's going to have to play the cannon to the red above the black. You never know if you're going to push a red safe close on to another one when you're playing cannons. Twenty-eight. Touching ball. Well, just looking ahead, he's going to need the yellow. So it still play its part in this frame. That could be what stops this man going 5-0 down at this visit. Made for the pink. 36. Easier to get to the reds. 42. Big moment, sees. Karen, 43. He's got the right side of the pink to play for the red into the same pocket. And that was an important positional shot he's just played there. Well, this is the highest break of the match. But we're coming up now to a key shot shortly to get on that yellow. 49. Yeah, it's got to leave an angle. Whichever colour he decides to play on, to drop him behind the yellow. Well, he's played to knock the yellow out, and that could be the winning shot.
What a clever shot that was from Karen Wilson. It's gone a little closer to the cushion they would have wanted. So this visit started with a cracking long red. And this yellow. 54. And the green. And Mark Williams barring snookers is 5-0 down. Yes, but it's not easy to get to the green. <clears throat> not and leave himself easy on it. Yeah, that's because, of course, he took a low-value colour of the red in bringing the yellow out. Couldn't leave it easy. He tried 56. to play the cannon, but he's a very, very good rest player. <laughs> he's just checking the mats and rechecking it and rechecking it. If he pots this, he's 25 in front with 22 on. This has been a great break. Just needs to complete it with this green. Yeah, no intentions of playing for the brown. Just tried to make sure of the green. 59. Well, there was nothing tentative about it, was there? And still has a chance at the brown. Mark Williams, regardless, needs a snooker. And in goes the Brown, so it's going to be 5 mil. Well, 63. he's actually now snookered, having said that. He's checking the scores again. He's, what is he, 29 the difference? So it's three snookers. Yeah, that eases the pressure, doesn't it? Three snookers. Well, that puts the pressure oh. back on, because 24 in it. Wilson, if, uh, 63. If Williams would have popped the blue, five. it's one to tie in the pink. This is close, if it's got the speed, if it's got the legs. Has it just drifted in behind? I think he may be able to swerve it. He's just checking the board. But as, it, as it stands now, it's two snookers. <laughs> Again, it's close, this. Very close. He's got him again. And this time, a little bit more difficult. The blue not close enough to the cushion. As far as Karen Wilson's concerned. Another good hit. Now, will he attempt to pop the blue, as David said, play one snooker to tie? Yep. So, Five. one snooker to tie now. Well, now this gets interesting. And we know if, if he does tie the scores, he's the man for the respot in the Masters. Just didn't hit it this time round. Mark Williams, five. So, will he play in or over? Or at pace? It's there. It's there. <coughs> yeah, he made a great break in this frame. Kyron Wilson launched by a terrific red. It was 63 the break. The pink goes in to his great relief, so he's one away from a one. Please, frame six. Baron Wilson to break. 
So Corin Wilson needs one more frame, and he's in the semi-finals of the Masters. He leads 5-0. Yeah, Mark's young son, Kian, came down between frames to offer his dad a few words. Maybe start winning frames, Dad. Oh, Doc, come on. <laughs> But as you say, David, he's got to try and attack now and try and blitz Kyron Wilson. Try and find some form. Got him first in the last frame. Had a nice little lead. Now, where's everything going to finish? Mark's got a chance here. It's not an easy one. Settle down, please. Thank you. Now, it wasn't easy. Choice of three reds. Looking for an easy chance some confidence going Karen Wilson determined not to give him that chance Well, it must have been very tight, that. Trying to squeeze it in off that far knuckle. So another chance for Williams. And this time he pots it. One. Mark Williams has played in the Masters 19 times before. He's only been whitewashed once. That was in 2007 by Neil Robertson. Well, that's turned out very nicely. Skimming off the reds. Seven. I'd like to get that, rid of that red on the black spot before taking the black. Eight. Must have felt he had no alternative. But the red may go to the left corner. When the black comes back up again, because the red is just slightly to the left of the black spot, it may go. Okay. Fifteen. Thirty-one. Taking the so opportunity to open more reds up, but it hasn't worked out. Had he played that with right-hand side, and the 
cue ball would have gone up towards the blue. Now that's a great recovery shot. That was the shot of a champion. 37. Nothing wrong with his guts, that's for sure. This is his highest break of the match. He needs to keep going, though. Oh, and he hasn't. He's Mark missed that Williams. red. 37. Well, that's incredible. After getting that difficult blue, the awkward queuing. Well, I think he's a bit bemused, really, by it all. Has he got away with it? Kyron looking at the possibility of a plant. And they were taking the cue ball up towards the bork area. Just overcut it. Mark Williams getting great support. Of course, the audience would love to see a few more frames. It's always been a passionate crowd at the Masters. Some of the conference centre days, it could get very rowdy, to say the least. Yes, yeah, so I remember playing Higgins there. <laughs> rowdy. Was not the word I was thinking about. No, I mean, Alex uh, sort of brought them out, didn't he? A lot of the, the more passionate, shall we say, supporters. <laughs> it was electrifying. But so is this. In many ways, these type of matches, especially when the players 5 0 down, can be so exciting. Makes a comeback. Those are the type of shots that Karen Wilson gets many times. This is a big shot. Forced into taking it on. Oh, and so close. Better chance for Karen Wilson. Couldn't have got any closer without going in. But this is tough, but all he has to do is pot it beyond the black. I say all. It's a tough pot, but it's another chance to win there. Might just give Williams that little bit of incentive knowing that his opponent has started to miss. Good pot. One. That was missable, but now he's in control. 38 point lead already. He's got a safe red, a couple of safe reds. Six. Okay. Seven. Well, there's a red in the middle of that cluster that will go to the left corner. There's also a red that will go to the right corner. Or he could play for the red to the left of the pink. He's got choices here. What he must do is be on a red. Four. 
14. Well, someone just coughed there as he was down on the shot. There was another cough as well, actually, but he's uh, just about potted the red. It struggled in. Well, he could play for that loose red to the right corner, or he could just give them all a little nudge. Play for that loose red. I'd like to have been straighter on it. 20. Has he got the cover? I think he 21. has. And that was the danger. <laughs> 58 points, the lead. Chance to put a colour safe. Mark Williams, 21. <laughs> Could have done with it being closer to the cushion, the brown. far away but he's brought that red off the cushion so there's only one safe red now caught it just a little too thick and Wilson will be going for this red I would think Sixty-five percent he's got of his long pots. Yeah, good pot. <laughs> and now a chance of winning the match. A couple of safe fish balls, the red and the brown. Six. He's on both of these reds. But both of them a little awkward for getting to the colour. Seven. Don't think the black goes to the right corner, but the pink goes to the middle. <coughs> Didn't pull it back far enough. Or too far, whichever one. 13. Left himself awkward on this red. That was a nervy little shot there, Karen Wilson. have come on mark but can he see the red <laughs> well, he could play off the cushion and try and pot it at least the cue ball goes up the table and I'm playing the big swerve And that will do nicely.
46 points the lead, so just needs the pink. No need to play position. Good shot. And that should get him his first frame on the board. Seven. Well, Wilson's had chances in this frame. He had one there. Yeah, it's a poor positional shot from pink to red. It cost Wilson that frame. Well, he's still a heavy favourite, but it's not going to be a whitewash. So his son will be a bit cheerier now. At least Dad's got a frame on the board. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Yeah, no. Twenty-two. So Mark Williams has yeah. got a frame on the board at long last. He's still banging trouble here, but it's not over yet. That's the important thing, and he'll try and use all his experience to pile the pressure on Kyron Wilson, leading by five frames to one. Or indeed, 18 total here at the Masters for O'Sullivan. Here comes Kyron Wilson, just cheering himself up for one more frame to try and put himself in the semi-finals. Thank you, frame seven, Mark Williams to break. So Mark Williams on the scoreboard at long last this evening, trailing though still 5-1. Karen Wilson's been in two big finals this season, the World Open, the English Open, but the Masters, a tournament he's grown up watching, it would be such a big deal to be here at the weekend in the semi-finals, possibly the final. It's only his third appearance in the tournament. Yes, yeah, definitely big moments for Kyron. Could Switch start, that mobile off, please. Could start with this long red. It's travelled far enough to be on to the middle. One. Well, good angle on the yellow to go into that pack of reds and into them with speed. Mustn't hold back here. How's your luck? It's not good. Could have been kinder. Three. Very unfortunate. Maybe try and get the cue ball in behind the brown. Mark Williams, three. And that looks good enough. I can just see this red on the cushion, but very tough to play off these type of reds. Got to just catch the paint. Catch it too thick, leave reds on. Settle for that.
Well, uh, how close was it here? Red nearly disappeared. A chance? After all the centuries in this tournament, 21 of them have only had one half century in this match, but this will be a good time for Wilson to put together a big break. Yeah. One. Yeah, I could have took the other red there into the left corner, which would have freed the black into that pocket. <laughs> He's on it this time, though. The black to follow. Six. Seven. Oh, that was a tentative shot again there. Had a lot of room to play with. <coughs> you shouldn't miss this with the rest, but you don't want to be putting yourself under pressure when you've got such an easy positional shot. Let's go to the left corner. We've caught a glimpse of it. The last shot. Doesn't have to play for the pink. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Pink going up onto the brown spot makes a red available to the right corner. Twenty-two. You should be able to play for the black this time round. Twenty-eight. And that leaves him with this easy red to the right corner. And then after that, he's going to start thinking about nudging reds. He may even nudge one out this time round with the insurance of that red. Well, he's opened the reds up, but he's not ideally on this red. 35. Thought he would have just stunned to the reds. Left himself on the red to the right corner. This is missable. Thirty-six. And that will do nicely. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a good chance now. But of course, at this stage, it's as much about nerve as it is about skill. Because he knows it's a good chance, that's the point. Done without the kiss there. It would have been nicely on two reds. 38.
Well, that is so tight. And if he needs the rest, it's even harder. Yeah, well played, and played it confidently. Nine. Just saw Mark Williams there peeking round to have a look. Yeah, he struck that, as you say, with great authority. Came so close to it in the other red there. <laughs> and those little cannons there just worked out very nicely. 46. Just by nudging this red, gave himself choice of reds. 43 in front. Mark Williams wondering if he's going to come back to the table. 47. Fifty two. Fifty three. Oh, just hard enough. 60. 57 the lead. So just needs this red and a colour. Sixty-one. Yes, it's been an excellent break. His parents are here. Proudly looking on, nervously maybe as well. If this black goes in, Mark Williams needs snookers. What a great break this has been. Yes, and must be so proud of him. Mark Williams 68. didn't really play tonight. The highest break of the match has won in the match. And that's what you said at the beginning 69. of this frame. Wouldn't it be good if he could knock in the highest break? Yes, because it's not like he stuttered over the winning line, is it? He's seen one chance in this frame and he's taken it out, and that's impressive. He's a very impressive player, I think, Wilson. Looks like end of break, but it's also end of match. 76. He's working out all sorts of trick shots here. Mark Williams looking for the exit door. So it was one-sided. 76, framing a match. And Karen Wilson has put himself into the semi-finals.